Hello and welcome to another beer review with the Beard Man. Today I am excited, personally, on a personal level, god damn it, to bring you a green cheek beer. I have been chasing after these mofos for god knows how long. Everyone tells me how good they are and everyone tells me how easy they are to get. And it's like, really? Every time I try to buy them, they sell out. And in fact, I actually should have brought three uh, on my recent trip to be, uh, Premier Hop where I brought this can. And uh, as I was processing, one went, went out again, another one went. Uh, but thankfully, this is still left. So I at least had one of this and one of the monkish. So yeah, wasn't too best pleased at being kicked out set twice and missing out on two really good beers. But that's life shizzle happens but yeah this is green tea this is huge bird yeah in collaboration with trillium i believe green cheek are based in orange california and um, trillium are based in canton massachusetts i believe definitely massachusetts uh, but yeah um i've been after their beers for so long i've heard so many good reports about their beers and their beers fly off the shelf so and I mean super quick, so yeah. To look at the beer, I mean it looks the actual beer itself looks really good. It is perfect orange juice to point. That looks really good. The head, I created a good head on this. I poured it really well, but it's dissipated really, really quickly. Um but I will say, pre I started from that iron brew left, I did clean the glass. However, I have just had a kebab. So <laughs> It might be a little bit greasy, that's probably what's killed the head. So, don't blame Green Cheek, blame me and my delicious, I must say, delicious, delicious kebab. I must say, bloody epic. As always, from one of my local uh, restaurants, takeaway places. But uh, yeah, so, uh, good to sniff, eh? That smells really good. Yeah, that is apricotty, orangey, lemony. Grapefruity, white wine. That's that is like recently. That is like German white wine as well. That is because that is quite. I always find German white wines they aren't the best, but they've always found them quite stone fruity and stuff. And obviously, this leads a hand to that. It's like candy, candy sweets as well, like that sweetness to it. Like peach sweets, to be fair, not peach rings, but definitely peach sweets. Maybe a bit of apricot wine in there as well. A bit of mango. I tell you what, that is just a fruit, 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 fruit with a nice little balance of uh, white wininess, to be fair. That smells really good. Mmm. Yeah, so I'd say good to taste, so. Cheers. Fire and a green cheek. Okay, I'm not getting much of the bat. What I'm getting is nice, but like I've just said, I've just had a a delicious kebab, full of chilli sauce, I mean, melts a little bit. Yeah, that is, that is good. Very much, it's quite dry. Quite dry. It is very, it has got that Riesling-y, white wine vibe going on. But it's definitely got mango in there. And maybe a stick, bit of sticky pineapple, bit of orange. Peachy, apricotty, you know, them type of flavours. But like an apricot cream in a way, I'm getting a bit of that. But it's quite dry. It's it, the flavours do linger, but it's quite it's quite short when you're drinking it. Um yeah. It's bloody good though. That is fantastic beer. That is really well balanced. You know, I've got a sweet tooth like me fruity juice and not big on bits in this, but this is just balance personified. This is it's still juicy, but it's really interesting. It's got definitely it's definitely got southern hemisphere hops in there to add that wininess, that dryness to everything. Um I'm not much of a dry wine beer, so I'm more of a fruity and same as I first sweet up with beers, it kinda works and especially sort of flavours like this, it works. And to be fair, he does hang with a really chilli fried, delicious kebab. He does hang with it. He kind of goes well, to be fair. It's kind of exactly what I need, to be fair. Yeah. Um, 
really good, good stuff. Pit Bull Miss Cannon, see, chuck a bit more sediment in, you might change them out because I've had a few beers recently. Um, it's this kind of problem with drinking these Teiku glasses. You don't fit so in, that's why I like drinking these beers in pine glasses because you get everything in there. There's, there's no hiding, there's no of changes of opinion. This one's slightly milkier. Uh, head's still a bit quite big head, but uh, big bubbles on the head, but uh, you yeah. <coughs> know. I saw that awkwardly, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's bloody good. That's really fantastic IPA, I must say. Double IPA, I must say. I don't think I mentioned any of this spiel, did I? Um, do it's actually tell you on this i'm sorry i apologize double ipa you put it 8.5 percent as well um yeah um it's my first green cheek experience goes that's a good start that's a brilliant start in fact that's fantastic right up my street a little bit too dry personally but i appreciate the craftsmanship of this this is fantastic um yeah cracking Really good stuff. Rated definitely in the four five range. Um, you know, what? I think I'll give it a four point six. But I think it's it deserves better than just in the world class range. I think it's. I think if you like juicy fruity beers, I think you'd enjoy. It. If you like dry wines, I think you'd enjoy it. Um, yeah, this is top class, top class, and it's a. I'm so happy. I can actually say that. I don't. I get a bit sad when I drink buy these expensive beers and you know there's a lot of hype behind these breweries and they fall flat which a certain one has a lot of the time but this is snock this is snocking <laughs> this is uh, this is this is stonking stuff I must say this is really good so yeah hope you've enjoyed this review like I'm enjoying this beer last one for me at this particular night because yeah a bit tired now at this point but uh, yeah Hope you've enjoyed the review and I will catch you on the next one. Cheers.